Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Med School Monday. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about um, my iPad, which I mentioned in the What's in My Backpack video previously. It was given to all the students from the school and it's been a pretty integral part of how we study and take exams and things like that. So I'm just going to take you guys through just what apps I use and how I use my iPad for med school. All right, so I would say the app that I use the most is probably Notability here. And I have it organized by the classes that I have so far in second year. Clinical Foundation was sort of like a warm-up class when second year first started. Um, so we have a lot of evidence-based med medicine type of stuff. Neuro, lab, the class that I just had is Palm. So typically you would get lectures with PowerPoints that look like this. You can use a sidebar to kind of navigate through the lectures. So basically, Notability is where I have all the PowerPoint notes. Now that I type up all my notes with my friends, I use it a lot less. So let's look at some of the other apps that I use. Um, I use Anki a lot. So Anki, if you guys don't know, it's like a very popular flashcard app that a lot of medical students use. You can download the flashcard from online from previously made decks or you can make your own. So my friends and I like to make our own so we'll do something like drug for heart failure, we'll make up a, a table and then we'll make our own flashcards like that. Or sometimes we'll do um, a lot of like picture flashcards which we make through Anki. So that's also very useful. This will sync with your computer and I think they have a website version also. ExamSoft is an app that we use to take our exams. So as you can see, there's exams that we can download. Um, there's a section for downloaded exams. And when you take the exam, it'll go to um, uploaded answers. And that's what we show to the exam proctors to sh show that we've um, done the exam. So you can see some of my past exams here. Um, so obviously when you use a the app, you have to be in airplane mode and um, what do you call this when you do guided access and things like that. Um, and we have to like exit out of it too. Like that. Another app that I use called Firecracker, they have two versions. They have this light purple beta one and they have the navy one, which is a newer version. Um, it's the same thing as their website interface where they have an older version still available, but they have a newer um, version available as well. You can kind of flip back and forth um, depending on what your goals. Um, I've been using the new app. It'll show you, I mean, it says I did two questions. I'm supposed to do 147, but I'm on break, so I'm probably not going to do anything today. Basically, you can do questions. It'll give you a question and you're supposed to click for um, answer, and then you're supposed to rate how well you know the answer in this gets taken into consideration on um, when to show this question again and things like that. There's um, anatomy folder which I use a lot during first year when I was doing anatomy and physiology. The, the app that I use the most is probably this Essential Anatomy 5, which to be honest I use a lot um, during anatomy but after anatomy was over I didn't really have a ton of use for it but it's cool to just see all this muscle and arteries and stuff just layering on and it's helpful for visualizing the anatomy. And I think that's probably all the medical apps that I use. The other stuff that I use a lot are obviously the calendar and the mail um, to check the school mail and my um, class schedule. Um, if I get really bored in class, I'll probably Pinterest some stuff, so I have Pinterest on as well. So I'll just scroll through, waste some, some time, and yeah, I think that's all the apps that I use regularly. Um, I don't really use a lot of um, social media stuff on this iPad, like I don't usually go on Facebook. Or oh, I don't even really use the messages app, I'll just do that on my phone. So I hope you guys found the video useful and fun. If you guys have any questions um, on how I study or some of these, how some of these apps work on the iPad, feel free to leave comments below. Um, like and subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye guys.